It's the Trick or Treat Treasure Team Collab. And it's hosted by Debbie with Project 39 mini albums. Lots of collaborators are joining in. We're going to be sharing some Halloween inspiration every Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern for the next four weeks. Welcome back, everyone. So I am joining the Trick or Treat Treasure Team collab. This is just a crafty collab video. This is week one, so we're showing some cards and tags this week. Welcome back everyone. So I'm joining in on that trick or treat treasure team collab hosted by Debbie Project 39 mini albums. There's a ton of us that are participating. I'll link uh, the playlist for everybody's videos down below as well as all of our channel links. There's gonna be four weeks of Halloween crafty fun. This is week one, which is cards and tags. I'm using some items from Not Too Shabby, so I will have my website affiliate links down below as well. I'm using this pink Halloween I Want It All bundle. It came with two ephemera packs, uh, some enamel dots, a sticker, and then two paper pads as well. I've are, I've been using it for the last month and a half, but I'm, I want to do some more projects with it. I think it's just so super cute. Um, I also did bring in some additional stamps and things. I'll show you in a second, but I am making some cards today. So I've already made several off camera. We're going to make one together today. I used four sheets of paper to make my mats, and then I used one additional sheet to make all of my little squares for every set of four cards. So I used five total sheets from each of the two paper pads to make a total of eight cards today. I've already made seven. We'll make one together on camera and I will list all the dimensions down below. I did already stamp a sentiment on the inside and I added a scrap. Um, and so these are the two stamp sets that I brought in from Not Too Shabby. It's called Boo Sentiments. Um, and I will see if it's available. If it is, I'll link it down below for you. Um, and then I also have the Best Witches stamp set. That was the sentiment that you saw on the inside of my card. Again, if they're available, I'll link both of them or either one down below uh, with my affiliate links. And so again, I've already made seven cards. We're going to make the eighth card together on camera today. And again, I'll have all those dimensions down below. I am using an A2 size card base. I've already stamped the inside with my little Halloween sentiment. I did cut down one full sheet of six by six to make the, the bulk of the front of my card. Um, so I basically cut it at five and a quarter um, with my paper upright that caused that little strip. Then I rotated what was left, cut it at four inches. You've seen me do this a ton of times. I cut it at four inches, and so I basically split it uh, between four and two inches. And then I, my larger mat is five and a quarter by four. My strip is five and a quarter by two. I'm flipping it around for double-sided paper, and we're gonna add it to the front of our card. So super easy. And then um, I did do a bunch of different varieties, and I mixed and matched my patterns because I use multiple sheets. That little scrap strip is five and three, five and a quarter by three fourths. I'm putting that on the inside of my card. Um, and then I also did cut down one little square, and this is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Um, and the reason why I cut it down a little bit smaller I normally do three by three on these but because my holographic cardstock is six by six I went ahead and cut that down to three by three so I went ahead I figured it was easier just cut down my pattern paper to two third two and three quarters by two and three quarters um, and just have the larger mat uh, that I could get four out of one sheet of six by six instead of just getting one little mat from one sheet of six by six so that was just to conserve my paper brought in ephemera piece a stamp sentiment that's what I'm using for my card today so i'm going to start by gluing this little square the paper to the the holographic cardstock now this is my favorite cardstock from joann's that holographic cardstock um i do pick it up from joann's it's in like that little like dollar 50 spot or 250 spot it's like the little section um and so i add my little scrap strip on the inside of my card then i'm going to go ahead and glue this two inch strip to my a2 mat on to add to the front of my card you notice i'm using wet glue for this piece i did use some dry adhesive for the first part i've mentioned this before i find it just so much easier to use your little tape runner when you're gluing to to cardstock metallic cardstock so i'm showing you here that you can put this little square um, on a lot of different places somewhere on the front of your card i like it best when it's angled to the side so that's what i'm doing here and then i will basically finish it off with my little ephemera piece and the uh, stamp sentiment now i do notice that it hangs off just a tiny bit so i brought Brought in some scraps from my stash i'm kind of curving them just so i can fit them around the edges of this round circle and i'm just basically filling in the areas that are
are going to hang off of that square, that matted square. I'm adding just a tiny bit of scrap cardstock just to make it more flush. Now it's perfect. Now I'm going to add in my ephemera piece. So I'm going to add some glue to that, finish that off on the front. That is my card. That's how easy it was. Um, again, I got four cards from five sheets of cardstock or, or the little six by six paper. I am going to just add one little added embellishment, which are these enamel dots. These are glitter enamel dots that came with this I Want It All bundle from Not Too Shabby. Um, and so that is literally my finished card. So super easy. So I do have uh, all the rest of the cards. I'll do a full final recap in just a second. But before I do, I have one more little quick project that I want to share with you. So I had previously done a tutorial for these three by three cards. What I want to do today is show you how you can just turn them into some quick little tags. So these little mats on the inside are two and three quarters by two and three quarters. My little card base is three by six. I fold it in half, added a scrap, and then I used also a two and a half by two and a half paper mat, as well as two and three quarters by two and three quarters cardstock. I'll list all the dimensions down below for you. I did die cut that circle out of the holographic paper. I do have a little tutorial for this little card, so I'll link it at the very end in case you want to check that out. But let's make some tags. So this is a super quick and easy way to turn your little three by three cards into tags. I'm using about eight inches of some elastic cording. I picked that one up at Joann's as well. I'm going to punch a little hole with my hole puncher here on the top left hand corner. You see there, I have my little hole. And then I'm going to add my uh, elastic cording. I'm going to run it from the back to the front, and then I'm going to put the two ends ends together and tie a little knot and then as I'm tightening the knot I'm going to pull it towards the end of the uh, cording so I'm just going to kind of pull it closer and closer to the end once it's tight enough that is basically our little tag you could trim the cording just a tiny bit more um, but otherwise that's our tag and because it's elastic it will stretch and you could put it around you know uh, maybe a, a drink or um, a little gift or add it to some kind of little package you've got lots of little gift options with that i like to have these little tags ready to go because once they're ready if I do need a little gift tag, these are these are so easy to just quickly grab and go. I don't have to stop and actually make them. So make your three by threes and then add your elastic cording and that will make some quick and easy tags. Let's go into a full recap. Okay, so I used lots of different items here, all from the Not Too Shabby Shop for the Trick or Treat Treasure. I used some stamps and paper and ephemera and enamel dots. I made a batch of eight cards, and this was just with a really quick and easy template. I've done this sort of cutting guide before where I make four cards from five sheets of paper um, and basically have like no scraps or very minimal scraps. Um, it's a really great way to smash your stash. And so what I did was I pulled five sheets from each of the two paper pads that came in this I want it all bundle if the bundles available I'll link it down below for you I think it's just so super fun I love pink Halloween and then I also did kind of finish off some three by three cards and turn them into some quick uh, holiday Halloween tags so I just wanted to show you a couple quick projects again this was week one of our collab it's cards and tags here are some additional cards that I made a few weeks ago using this I want it all bundle I'll link that video either down below or at the end I also did make some really fun treat bags we have a whole week that's dedicated to these types of packaging so make sure you stay tuned for that and I'll link my previous tutorial videos again at the end or down below and I will have that uh, not too shabby website affiliate link in case you do have any of these items that you want to purchase make Make sure you check out the hashtag trick or treat treasure to get more inspiration from us all of us that are joining in for this collab i'll also have a playlist that i'll link down below happy halloween crafting